Okay, so right here we have a viewport. And uh, this is our actually area where we can preview our model scenery as we work along. And we look before we can go ahead and set up different type of the views. You can also do all of this from our navigation. So right here, you can notice we have a perspective view. And if we click down, we have a different type of the position for this. Again, this is not render camera. This is only when you work. So we can have a front view, left, right, back, top view from above. And we also have a UV view type. Okay, so let's go back to perspective view. Also, additional icons, let's go over them. First, we have it, our different type of the shading as we view wireframe, solid wireframe um, with bounding boss. So we have a different type currently, cartoon textures. Right now, we have it on a small shading set or texture shading, sorry. Um, next, we have it display type um, what we want to display cube logs center frames so this has allowed us additional props we can look for example if we go to show 30 guide it's you'll notice divide our screen by three by three squares so it's a help actually to properly or balance composition when we work with inside scenery some of those aspect frames and everything won't showing this but it will show when you start work with camera. So not all of these guides will show. Also, we can hide camera cube if we have a camera and after hide other properties. So this is mostly of the view port overlay kind of, which is won't affect the render. So next, this is actually buttons is help us or icons help us navigate and move inside the scenery. So you can see I can pan around up and down i can zoom in and out targeting or reset if you have any things and your tooltip enabled by default if you move your mouse over you can see the tooltip pop up and help you to remember if you for one reason or another forgot what they can do or the action for example the orbit it says l m b so left mouse button it means i need click left mouse button and drag so it's kind of tell you what action you also need to do. For example, if we go right here, you can see the dolly. It will be right mouse button and drag. So I need to click right mouse button and just drag around. And this will help dolly. And again, if I want to drag, same on the pan, I can just panning around with the left button. So this is kind of help and keep it on the beginning. Keep those tool tips is enabled. So if anytime you forgot, you can go over and it's pop up and help you tell what this can do they also will have this universal kind of navigation which is kind of mostly what we can do in those icons but it's help you to with rotation and alignment and you notice as we're going around the cube is changed and showing us position front top left right and button and back so it's kind of nice to always know what you are positioning or orientation in 3d space currently so again you can just select specific area and go rotate by the axis or specific area okay or okay let me click on this one okay the other things also you'll notice when i click if you just click on specific corners like single click this is where you position camera faster way so you don't necessarily need to go and drag around so i can click right there let's say okay let's go on the top just one click and let's take me to the top okay let's go back to the for example side and i'm go to front and it's alignment so it's very fast to align per angle or again you can just click and drag around and as we're going more familiar you'll start kind of understand and see how this work again remember that uh, shortcuts does help a lot so you don't need to go click on the icons and adjusting however in this tutorials i will be using this um, element so you can preview what we're doing around okay we also look on some viewports to how you can align them and we access from drop down and i tell almost all properties you can access from this and you remember right here we have a different viewports 
If you want to do this faster way, you also have it access right on the top right corner. So if you click down, you'll notice right here we have exactly the same layout. So you can go very fast instead of going to the top menu. You can just go and select what type of view you want it and preset your viewports this way. So again, this is kind of our action button. You can go ahead and accessing through drop down. So this is a viewport and we look a little bit more advanced properties um, as we're going along work around. But for now, just simple navigation and understand what is viewport showing from which perspective we look and how to find yourself. I think this has given us very good startup. So in the next tutorials, let's look on some of these panels.